Hi, Bork. How are you doing? About the same, to be honest. Finished work earlier and just crashed for a bit. Right, time to get going. I'm going to be on this boss for a while. The attempts I did last time, I got him turned to about 50% at most. <laughs> I am using my little circle cam as well, because one of the things I was trying to sort out was the lighting for my green screen. And it just doesn't like it at the moment. I need to get some like pro proper backlights to go up there or something. My little camera just isn't strong enough to do it. Right, so... Yeah, I can do it by changing my room lighting, but it doesn't always work and it means I have to properly close off the blinds and everything like that as well. Right, so, so what do we have? We had Pestilent Mist, Homing Crystal, Crystal Soul Spear. So we're going to get rid of the Homing Crystal because that was pretty much useless. But we are going to put great heavy on just in case right we'll say hello to dragon friend again yeah i picked up the fancy new armor last stream as well i got the dragon slayer armor it seemed appropriate to wear for this Oh, missed it. There we go. We go through the secret wall. Down the ladder that loads of people fall down. Like, literally, it's usually peppered with bloodstains at the top. Oh, look, there they are. Like I said, peppered with bloodstains up here. People who've not realised it, it's a ladder and just fallen. Down into the little church. With the weird... Serpent statues. They're like the ancient serpents from Dark Souls 1. Statues of them all over. And they're down the hole into the boss fight. We want Pestilent Mist. 
I want to aim for his face with my actual projectiles. Come on, my dear. Throw your little tantrum. Now, if I go this way. Point blank. Right, come on. Play the bean time. Ow. Bad dragon. There's that lunge that I keep screwing up last time. Why would you do this? more spells please oh this isn't throwing his tantrum again See, he just bumps into me there and does a ton of damage. This is going to be a laser beam again. Explosion. Come on, what are you doing? Another laser beam? Fuck. It's a new one. Ow. Not bad, I got him under half. And that seems to tire him out as well. So after he does that laser beam, it seems like I've got a decent chance to get some damage in. So what I am going to do... I am not going to need anywhere near as many casts as I've got equipped. So we're going to readjust our... Readjust our flasks a little bit. Get some more healing. Andre, come fix me flasks. Because I've got like eight flasks at the moment, and I don't need any way near that many. We'll drop you down to four. Yes. Pretty be careful. We. And then back to the Ring City. Midir is an optional boss as well, so if I do get really fed up, and I can always run away and get like a few more levels and stuff and come back, but 
seeing as we have him unlocked now, I want to do him now. Because he's doable. I just need to get good enough to do it. Get my dodges and stuff down properly. Away we go. Whoosh. May as well give him a good rating. Oops, wrong button. fail dodging that as well. Oh, he usually does a bite at the end of that combo. He didn't do it that time. Yeah, he's just got a lot of patterns to what he does. Like four or five different ones, and you've just got to work out which one he's doing at the time. And keep dodging just in case. Let's get this back up. But the charge is the worst one, because he only does like a... Like the tell for it is like a little crouch. And sometimes it's hard to work out whether he's doing that or whether he's doing his fire breath. And if I judge the wrong one, he just charges into me. Plus everything he does takes like a third, two thirds of my health, depending upon what it is. You. This little tantrum he does at the start every time. And if you just stand still, it doesn't hit you. Which is the cool thing about it. But whatever he does afterwards can. So. See, that still hit me. Which is annoying. Yeah, you see how much that took off then. <laughs> Sometimes I do have to double chug just to make sure I've got enough health to survive something. If I need to. But yeah, that one was just a bad start. Like getting caught by his fire breath and his charge straight away. You could see him walk down the pit. There are a couple of days ways to completely ruin this boss as well. But the first time I played the game I did pure strength build. It's the character I've still got. And this guy staggers really easily. But a couple of charged up heavy attacks and he was staggered. Where'd he go? Oh, he did that. So yeah, as long as you hit this guy's face, you can do like a couple of charged up heavy attacks. So 
spaced it wrong. But yeah, a couple of charged heavy attacks either makes him flinch or even or staggers him. So you can just wait for him to do that rush at the start and then start charging up your heavies. But can't do it with this one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. I've got like 50 of these things. May as well use them for the slightly, very so slightly higher stats. Who are you? Oh, you can summon Shira for this fight. She is a woman like earlier on in the Ring City, you come across a closed door. And this woman's like, Do you still worship Gwyn, god of all the gods? And it's her behind the door. In fact, we've got to go and say hello to her after we beat me, dear. She's the one who asked us to do it. Pretty sure it's her anyway. rolling on my part then. Uh, it's doable, it's just certain parts of it are much tougher. Because like with a fast roll or even a medium roll, it's like if I take that off I'll go a medium roll in with this. Yeah. So you travel much further. And the entire time your feet are off the floor is when you're invulnerable. So you can pass through attacks like that. But if you're fat rolling, put dragon armor back on. You travel nowhere near as far. So you've got to actually time it better. You're not in the you're not as invulnerable for long either. Like your feet touch the floor much quicker, so your invulnerability doesn't last as long. It's fat rolling you get the better uh much better protection just because of the kind of armor and stuff you can wear. The downside being that your actual dodging has to be much, much better timed. Like Bayonetta has a similar thing, like I've been looking at uh, like the charm that I want to get on Bayonetta, it's called the parry charm. So if you dodge time, if you do time your dodge right on Bayonetta, you get witch time which slows everything. Um, the charm that I want to get, which I've been saving up for on the character, is basically dodging isn't as important anymore because it becomes a parry so you've still got to do the right timing but if you do the right timing 
you just negate attacks completely. And you can get like openings on bosses and all sorts with it. Yeah, the Bayonetta one is really good. It's like you don't get the slowdown on time anymore, but pretty much any attack you can completely negate and even cause the other other person to parry, to stagger. But laser beam I need to be really careful of because laser beam will just one out what a right kill me it looks like. So I chat with Alex for a bit yesterday as well about Bloodborne, because I'm definitely playing Bloodborne after this. And it's what do we decide to do for that? So I've already got Tentacle Man set up. And he could quite easily be swapped over for like the Beast Man as well. Do like a Wolverine playthrough. And then there's just like let chat pick other dumb stuff. I could be like a fancy man playthrough where I just use like the the sword cane and things like that. I need to work out what I want to do for it. Bloodborne is a lot, a lot faster paced than Souls. Like one of the, the big changes in it that helps you play aggressive. If you take a hit in Bloodborne, your health doesn't just go. You get like a, a damage bar that's dulled. And then that starts draining after a couple of seconds. If you can damage an enemy while your health bar is still dulled, you can gain health back. So it encourages the, you to play more aggressively. Because even if the boss hits you, if you can get a couple of hits in straight afterwards, you can get most of your health back. And many of the bosses are way more aggressive as well. Like this was made after Bloodborne and the aggressiveness of some of the enemies in this you can tell has been inspired by Bloodborne bosses although pretty much everything in Bloodborne screams so I might have to put like a limiter on the sound for it If you've ever seen any of those videos of like huskies screaming, like screaming at their owners, that's what Bloodborne bosses are like all the time.
played the beams again. Yeah, laser beam literally does 100% of my health. Yeah, let's see if I've got a... Uh... A recording of it here somewhere. There we go, right. Imagine hearing this sound effect just constantly through a boss fight. Just over and over. Uh, that's actually one of the Bloodborne sound effects and it's just the boss doing that constantly. And they all have some sort of scream because they're all like beast like things. Apart from like some of the weirder bosses and a couple of the human bosses. Although the fights in it are really fun. But I really enjoy fighting some of the Bloodborne bosses. Need to find a good way of getting him to stay in the uh, pestilent mist a bit longer. So it does a fair bit of damage to him. Look, if I could get it on him when he's doing the laser beam, he's going to be in it for like pretty much the full duration. But that requires me being really close to him for the laser beam. idea. If I move back a couple of steps, when he does his turn round, because he spins here, and now when he turns around to try and get me, he's still going to be inside it. Yeah, he is. So that works.
as long as I don't get bit and breathe down like that. Right. No worries. Smooch. So drop down, step back a bit, little bit, and that's where I need to drop my pestle and mist. So when he does actually turn round, he'll still be inside it. Rather than being like just out of it. So all we go. We and we'll do single roll backwards. This is the distance we'll aim for. So, throw your tantrum. Unless he does this. Pestlet West is putting the work in though. Need to get him to stay in it. And you can see another man fall down. <laughs> oh boy. Right. Oh. Roll backwards at the bottom. Come on, media. Dick, you're supposed to still be inside it. Right, what's your next move? struggling to hit me. together and get it right. Down the big ladder and the fall and then get ready with pestilent mist. Come on, there you is.
Oh, you flew away that time, did you? Get back here, you. Charge. the dodge. Trying to work out how much health he's got now. That was like under a tenth of it. And it was almost 2,000 damage. Right, up you come. Let's get going. Well, yes, the other thing I forgot to mention, if you're fat rolling, your recovery times for stuff is longer as well. So, recovery time from getting hit, or, like, falling, and you'll see I'll do, like, a crouch at the bottom here. But standing up again takes longer if you're uh, fat rolling. Well, two rolls. Getting the casts on him, I just need to get my timing right.
Alright, let's go. Charge. That's some I miss in Elden Ring though. But if you drop off a a drop in Elden Ring, you've just got no choice but to do the recovery at the bottom. Or you can roll really cancel out of it in this and other Souls games. we go. Pestle Mist is definitely putting the work in. I just need to survive longer. Time my rolls better. down to it I could always summon the help but I want to avoid doing that if I can just want to see if I can do them just as the fuck is it right you're doing that
Are you going to come towards me this time? Yeah, you are. And you fly into the air, so I'm going to go this way. See what he was doing. Doing all right. I'm getting better at popping down the pestilent mist where I need it, and it's definitely doing the work on the damage. I'm just failing at surviving long enough. Well, I can drop pestilent mist down. Pretty much for him to stay in it while he's doing his combos. And it's constantly ticking away his health, but then I need to stay alive. And that's the bit I'm failing at. Should say stay alive and try and keep him in the same area. Right. Let's try again. And drop. I backed off a bit at the start, so he does this tantrum, I can put it down, and then when he turns around afterwards to try and get me, he's still inside it. the other one that keeps catching me because he swipes so fast on it. Well, I'm getting better at the dodging. I just need to keep getting better at it. <laughs> well, typical, that first attempt I did has been the best one yet. Down we go. Watch this poor fella fall. Away we go. So I'll land. Go back once, roll back twice. And that should give us decent enough distance for him to stay inside it once he's finished with his tantrum. Brag. 
three after this one. We've got Midia. We've got Spears of the Church. We've got Gale. And then we've got the end boss of the base game. The uh, Soul of Cinder. So after this one, there's three. But yeah, Gale is going to be the toughest of those lot. He's the end boss of the DLC and he is mean. Soul of Cinder shouldn't be too bad for me. But Gale is mean. There's a toss up between him and Midia who's tougher. One roll, two rolls. Spears of the Church is always fun as well because it's a boss fight where the boss is another player. If there's another player who's a member of that covenant in the area. Why did I cast it that way? Laser beam. Stay in my little cloud of doom. Right, tantrum time. And now he's going to do the crazy laser beams, isn't he? Is he? Oh, that's another tantrum. this this is crazy laser beam Ow. 
He moves so far doing that. Oh, this is explosion. There we go, that was our best attempt yet. That explosion was just bad timing, I was trying to get underneath him for another mist. It was close. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Come on, crazy ass four winged dragon. Feel the tantrum. Hyperb. You're joining us for one of the meaner bosses. Erg. Come on. He's doing a tantrum again. Run. Oh, I don't want to be here. No. by his tail when I couldn't see properly. How are you doing, Bob? How have you been today? Yeah, I am bouncing my face off this boss today, and he's a mean one. Right. So I worked out a strategy for the boss. Pestilent Mist is putting the work in. I've just got to get better at avoiding attacks. So, we drop down, get into a pattern for it. <laughs> yeah, Zacian's in the first one. Poor Sif, the great grey one. Ha <laughs> ha 
a bad time to cast. Laser beam got me. Laser beam is instant death if it hits me. That's the tough bit. I thought I was out of the way of it then, but I didn't get further further enough around. I wonder. I don't think it'll work, but if it does, it'll be really funny. This hidden body is kind of like a invisibility spell. Not quite, but kind of. want to see if it works. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So, fall back to... Wait for him to come over. No, my dear, there's nobody here. Nobody here at all. Unlucky block. 
thought I'd beat you to it. No, what am I doing? I'm not going to get a chance to catch Soul Stream. I should make a character for the first thing, first thing at some point. I keep forgetting to do it. I have a win-loss character as well, but I've not used it for anything apart from when I was doing those Elden Ring invasions. <laughs> Pestilent mist. One. Two rolls back. Bomb. Why don't you do that one straight away? to make sure I don't actually get under him. That's when it starts getting hard to see what he's actually doing. But yeah, it's a fucked up fight. I also found out the really, really hard boss in Elden Ring. You can beat much easier with my normal big strength build that I'd use. Because apparently that boss has really low poise, so you can get them to f flinch and stagger really easily. If you just beat them in the face with a big heavy weapon, no problem. And that is usually my go-to in Souls games. Come well, on, put your face in it. Yeah, millennia you just beat in the face and she just gets staggered constantly. <gasps> right. I'm going to give it until half past. I've not made any progress by half past. I'm going to get my friend in. Because she's sat patiently waiting for us to kill this dragon. So we'll get our Spear of the Church friend in.
friend. Yeah, she's got. There's a summon sign in the church room at the bottom. I can't remember her name. I think it's Syra. And she can help with this fight. She's one of the NPCs. But yeah, she, she's there and I'll get her if it gets to half past and I've not made any more progress on it. Beep, 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 beep. Right. Too late then. Like, way too late. <laughs> that combo again. That combo that keeps catching me. That one and the tantrum if I'm under it. And down the hall we go. <laughs> it would not surprise me. Like, I found out not long ago. You know, we were all playing Monster Hunter World at one point. The AI in Monster Hunter World is actually designed so if you're in a group the monster is more likely to target you if you're in the process of like drinking a potion or sharpening your weapon so like if you have to stop to sharpen your weapon the monster is more likely to target you the moment you start doing it Some of the people who speedrun monsters in groups use that to like bait out the monster on purpose. So like if another one of them, if one of them needs to heal, they'll call it out and somebody else in the group will start sharpening their weapon to bait the monster into attacking them instead while their mate gets a few breathing seconds to heal. Shit like that. I still need to go back and beat the final monster of Monster Hunter World at some point as well. It's the only one I've not beat. Uh, they released the Iceborne DLC. And they added the extra Elder Dragons in it, so you had like um, Teostra and Lunastra, and they added um, Alatrion and things like that. They were like the big bad Elder Dragons. And the very last Elder Dragon they released was Fatalis, who's supposed to be like a mythological dragon of death and doom. And it's the only one I've not beat so far. Oh, 
Fatalis is really cool as well. He's got a fire breath attack that literally melts large chunks of the arena because it's that hot. Still reached me. Um, I can use other stuff, but the mist is most effective. Right, fighting with Soul Spear. That's how much it does. It does 260. Unless I specifically hit him in the head. It does 535, but then I have to hit him in the head every single time for that to work. While the mist, he just has to be touching it. And it ticks like 25 every few. Mist is also dirt cheap to cast as well. downside to the mist is it does also hurt me so I can't be anywhere near it uh, I thought I was out of range that then what video what are you doing Hopping around everywhere. Big laser beat time. I don't know if this is a safe spot or not. Caught me with the last upward sweep of it. But yeah, uh, Pestle Mist is... It does steady damage. Downside being, it's in that one spot. And... It hurts me as well, but it is... A decent amount of damage that it does. And it ticks pretty fast. In fact... I can swap these out. They don't affect it. So. Yeah, it was, was the one that inked Stenton's length. I just had a thought. The two rings that I had on. These boost sorceries. Boost sorceries. They don't affect Pestilent Mist. Because Pestilent Mist is like a dot. It's not a big hit sorcery. So I've swapped them out for that. It gives me more stamina. Makes rolling and running around a bit easier. And this, which will make it stay down longer. We are going for the Pestilent Mist strategy. That's the best swap out I can do. And then these first two. Spellcasting time, increased intelligence. I'm going to keep those anyway. Fact. Increased intelligence doesn't matter either. Um, what should we go for? Damage absorption? Yeah, bugger it. We'll see how much 
swapping these round helps a bit. So, do you a tantrum? There you go, so it's still doing the same damage, even though I've taken off the most sorcery stuff. And it stays there much longer with that other ring on. We can get our stamina back much faster, which is helpful. We've got more physical damage reduction. Not that it helps that much, actually. Um, but it'll be a better fit for you. that on. Calamity Ring take double damage. Ah, there's nothing else really useful. We'll, uh, we'll leave you on. So yeah, Pestilent Miss strategy it is. It is just a case of staying alive now. Yeah, Pestilent Mist is one of those things, it's like, it used to be called Pestilent Mercury. But apparently that didn't translate well into some other languages, so they, they changed it, but... The whole thing about it is, you just need enough int to cast it, and then it does all of its damage as like a flat thing. It's based upon how much health the boss has. And now he's changed up his attacks, so I'm dying again. Meh. Meh. Boom, down the hole. And then down the drop. And time to try and survive again. Oh, 
I'll throw your tantrum. He did it again, he started doing that now instead of spinning on the spot. But this is laser beam. To fuck me over in situations like this. Dave never gets angry. Let's Yay! Make Dave angry. Yeah. The clip where I was trolling you know Dave. What I don't see enough of yeah. Dave getting really fucked off with things. <laughs> yeah. For context for that clip, uh, poor Dave has a channel reward called Drop It. Makes him drop the weapon he's got. Hello. <gasps> Hi, Georgiek. Thank you for the follow. And yeah, I had. Who is that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Clefairy! Fuck! Yeah, I spent a good 20 odd thousand points just making Dave drop weapons constantly. Like, he'd pick one up, drop it. Pick one up, drop it. Poor Dave. How did uh, Horizon go then, Dave? How far did you get? Have you finished it yet? I know you said you were doing some like side quests and stuff to level up some more. So. <laughs> like when I left you, you were talking to Silence, I think it was. Needed the gladiator bit. <laughs> I loved that bit, it was so cool. Just like throws you into an arena. Issues killed it. Oh no. Spike. Basically. <gasps> Spike speaking Dutch talk. Oh yeah, stand in it, that's what we want. Oh, 
Watch out, run away. things. Yeah. Got you, bastard. Boop, boop, boop. <coughs> First try at wall shit. Did you get all them souls though, 150,000. Right, that's Midio dead. Yeah, I just got a good run with uh, dodging some of his slashes and stuff then. Right, let's put my actual spells back on. So we want Flash Sword, Great Heavy, Soul Spear, and the Kami Kami. Uh, this. Nuri's Bar. No such thing here, Dave. Sucks to be you. <laughs> right, level up time. Welcome us. Very well, then. Hey. Oh, I need like well, fifty souls. Um, there. Welcome us. Very well, then. Hey. So, 65 int, 9 more levels till I'm at the cap, and they can all go into health when I get them. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see what Midir's soul can give us. Where's our good friend Legless Ludlith? He's up here somewhere. There you are. Aha, that returns. So, oh, Midir's soul. Now, see. Do you even have it with me? I do. Quite many spells are transposed. So. Soul of Dark Eater mid year gives me old moonlight. Ooh. And I need 15k souls. I took the mantle. Yeah, I know. Do I have enough? 20,000. Sweet. Let's see what this is that mid year soul gives us then. I want to see what this new spell is. It's been a while since I've got a new spell. Legless. Ah, so. So. Yeah, the only thing it can give you is Old Moonlight. I took which is now mine. Tune spell. 
Swap you for Old Moonlight. Conceive Old Moonlight Sword and attack. Oh, is it going to be like a spell version of the Moonlight Greatsword? Or somewhere where we can't hurt anybody. Like here. Ooh. I like. And it's cheap. Can you combo it? No, you can't. But we will be keeping that one on for a bit. Oh yeah, Spike, I was saying earlier. I will be playing Bloodborne after I'm done with Dark Souls 3. And, uh... I was saying to Bart how... If you've ever heard... Like, Husky complaining, like doing the weird... Screaming thing. Basically all the bosses in Dark... In uh, Bloodborne do that. Yeah, if you want your ears to survive turn things down a bit when you're playing Bloodborne because they all just husky scream everything there we go boost sorceries right so we need to go back to streets or is it inner wall to go and see the woman I think it's streets Because there was a woman who asked us to kill that dragon. I want to see why. What's she going to give us? Jeez. Yeah, she's back this way. So. You guys I do not care about. You guys. die. And then there's going to be another one, isn't there? There are not two here. There are. Three. to replenish my spells. There. So you dealt with. And now we need to head up these steps to the top. Because the woman we want to speak to is right at the top. Oh yeah, you're up there, aren't you? how much that does compares to a normal one. So the normal ones do 800 odd. Yeah. Not as much, but you're much faster. And I bet if I actually catch them with the sword part of it, that does damage as well. Titanite pieces. You can see how quick it is to level up here as well. I've already got 36k. Oh. 
Uh. Should be caster ones. I hate them. Can't remember where he's hidden now as well. You over here somewhere. There's you. I'm guessing the caster one is further up this way, seeing as he didn't stop. Ah, oh, there he is. You stop it. Right. Let's go and see who was at the door, see what they say. My most humble thanks. Tis thanks to thee the dragon erred not from his vows. Please, take this. A final gift of thanks. Present. <clears throat> Tie next now, line. Hasten on thy journey, but wake not the slumbering princess, as the fire waneth does she lie by the dark, all for the sake of man. Nope, I'm going to wake her up. My humblest thanks now, as the... Yep, yep, yep. Well, now we're going to use this. Skip back to the bonfire. And we're going to go and wake up a princess and ruin everything. So, which bonfire do I need to go to? This one, shared grave. I went to the wrong bit. Right, so shortcut is still down here. Onto the elevator and along we go. So we have nice view of the city and the bridge and stuff. Or multiple bridges. Items over there. Right. We'll get this dude with the two big great swords. swords as well. So you lead down this way. Over at this big grave thing. Right to the Divine Spear Monument. that in a second. Right. Because I saw item over here. There we go. Twinkling cyanide. Useless. 
useless for now anyway. Let's go see what this monument does. Hello. Oh, this is how you join them. Well, no. And now we go in this church. How about no? How about no? How about bite me? <gasps> boss fog! Straight into another boss fight we go. So this is Spears of the Church. Mom, let me kill you. Judicator Argo. So, Spear of the Church can be a player. Let's see if we get a player. Come on. Purple. No, I don't think you're a player. <laughs> Neither's that one. Oh no, you're a definitely a player. Keep them throwing knives. Snake. I'll show you. That's how it's done. There we go, two bosses down. Right, where's my bonfire? Try right. Try left. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Um, boo, boo, boo. Nah. Head back, get us more levels. I'm capping myself at 120 for the PvP. Me, you. Welcome. Very then, Hig. So we've got you to 65 with the ring 70. Well, let's get some more health. Farewell, Ashen Mace. Take you. Don't need another like 12,000. You too. Three thousand.
I'm like 600 off. Do I have any more soul items stashed? I don't think I do. I took them all out, right. Let's go and kill that random mook outside. Uh, Church of Filianor. So we'll go and kill the ringed knight outside again. That should give us enough for the level. This fight as well, you can redo over and over. There's like a monument you can go to, to reset it. I think it's the curse monument you're supposed to do that. Right, where's the ring tonight? There you is. Come here and let me kill you so I can level up. There we go. Use you to go back to the shrine. And now we can get another one. Level time. Welcome, husband. Very then take. More health. Farewell, mate. We're one hundred and thirteen. Now we'll actually go up the church. Check for secrets. Nope, no secrets. There's the lever. Any more for any more? Up we go. This is the church we were able to see right at the beginning. Princess ahead. Off we go. <gasps> She's asleep. There's a princess. Try f Typical. See what happens. She's awake. And now everything is ruined. Oh, 
Oh yeah, everything's properly ruined. And we killed the princess. Oops. Right. Well, down here there is nothing. Out here there is lots of nothing. The dude on the floor over there. This is where the church used to be. Now it's a wreck. And it's just empty. I've searched for thee. Oh no it dark stricken creature. Bitch. I am Shearer. Daughter of the Duke, descendant of gods, and trusted friend. At once. Oh, you're not even that tough. Oh, that hurts. Thou shalt not go unpunished for thy treachery, thy profanity, and thy shameless yearning. I can just pepper you with these. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. a spell fight. And you're out of healing. stuff. What's this? I don't recognise it. Cross spear hung with a malformed corpse. Once a mad king was born to pygmy royalty and Shira knighted Philly now put him to rest. Shira's cross spear unable to kill the undying king only pinned itself to him. Shira delivered them together to a dark room where she stayed and held them. Oh she got a dead dude on the end of her spear. Right, let's go and see what the crawling man was then. Beep, 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 beep. He was over this way a bit, wasn't he? There he is. He's got a crown. Red food is come to eat us. Eat our dark soul. Oh. You know, help me. No, 
No help. Right, what's over this way? We follow the way that he crawled. This is literally just desert. Oh no, there's a ringed knight over here. <gasps> Get him. Poor dude is just wandering all alone. Looks confused. Titanite slump and a titanite chunk. Sweet. Everything is basically buried in the desert. It doesn't look like there's anything else out here. Is there? No. Cutscene. Another dude trying to crawl his way away. And then it's everybody's favourite DC villain, the Red Hood. So, Gail, you don't look very well. What? Still here? Hold it over, that thing, your dark soul. For my lady's painting. How about no? Yeah, spear does a bit. He does a lot. And he's low down, so his spells have a habit of going over him. And you've got a tantrum spell. At least I know where he is. Time to go in with full casts. Right, so. Put it down to you two. Slave Knight Gale. It's a massive arena as well. <coughs> what a lunge. You're far he threw me.
That's why you come in that time. Made him angry. <gasps> Phase transition. <laughs> Definitely not well. Put in lumps. Oh, he's in range. Need to find time to heal. Who let you have a teleport? Dramatic enough already. Right. <laughs> Not bad for like first proper try. He did not have much left. Right, um... May as well pop on. Do I need, for what? need to watch for him doing his big spin? for doing that. We When's his phase transition? It's at a third of his health. Right, 
that's gonna follow up. to get better at dodging those combos at the end but I reckon we can get him the first two phases aren't too bad I just need to be careful Yeah, if he gets a combo going, I've got to get out a bit fast. Just get my, get away, get some breathing space. Well, I reckon we can do this. I actually thought Gale was going to be the hardest one, but he doesn't seem to be too bad with spells. to get too greedy then. get the distance
wonder how much a soul spear does just out of six or one. Timing. One more cast and I could have done it. One more. Right, we are doing this, I just need to be not so greedy at the start. Is dying in the first phase again.
Right. Back to it. I'm going to go for about another 10 minutes. If not, we'll have to get him next time. But after him, then it's just Soul of Cinder and we're done. Can't sleep the meow. Sorry, Spike, this is the last boss of the DLC. I beat this guy, it's just the last boss of the main game and we're done. Easy. Easy. Damn spoilers. You're a spoiler. No, you are a spoiler. No, you're a spoiler. No, you are. No, you. Then he does his lunge thing. No, you, sir. Or he didn't do the lunge thing this time. It with ease. Oh, you got me trapped in the corner, that's why. Shut up, trouble you are, the cutie accepted. <laughs> Oh, leave me alone, bad boss. There. I need to keep distance with him. I can keep distance, I'm alright. It's when I let him get too close that I start getting caught. So Hey trouble, you died, just saying, cutie. No spike I didn't, you saw nothing. My bad. Although I do have a death tracker. 
I think if you type in exclamation mark deaths, it'll tell you how many times I've died. I'm just getting bad at this one again. What am I doing differently? Other than I'm trying to be too greedy is what it is. Like that. <laughs> I'll try death count. Can't remember what I saved it as. There you go, Spike. You found it. That was my last attempt because I need to go to bed as well. But we did it. We beat Midair. We beat Spears of the Church. We're on to the very last boss of the game. So yeah, it is badge time now. Well, I say the very last boss of the game. It's the very last boss of the DLC. And then we've got to go back and 
actually meet the last boss of the game. Oh. Yeah, that one last run. I said I just had no healing left and I needed to get out of his combo. But we'll get him. We'll get him next time. Definitely. So, is there anybody live right now? Um, THX for stream cutie. <gasps> no, you, your cutie. Who is live? Do I know anybody live? Anybody who's around? <gasps> I know. TK is playing the new. Lego Star Wars game. Let's go and say hello to him. So. You all probably know who TK Granola is anyway. So be good. I will post my schedule up again. When I work out what I'm doing next week. Devin Octillion 777 <sighs> Septillion 777 Sextillion 7. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. I'll check my schedule for work. But it'll be probably be Bayonetta on Tuesday and Dark Souls on Thursday again. There's two things in the world that I hate more than anything. That's <laughs> one, racial intolerance, and two, Fight me. So yeah, go and say hello to TK on a boat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye